Have you ever noticed something that made you go, hmm? Observed something you didn't quite understand? Congratulations, that was the beginning of the scientific method. Today you'll learn how to conduct a scientific experiment. The scientific method includes six components. The initial observation, in which you notice something you'd like to learn more about. Gathering information, in which you research your topic. Making a hypothesis, in which you propose a potential answer to your question. Designing an experiment, performing your experiment, and drawing conclusions about what you observed. In part one, you make your initial observation and then form a hypothesis from your gathered information. Check this out. When Wendy shared her Mentos, we noticed something. Whoa, what's wrong with Aaron? So we did some research about Mentos reacting with Coke. We hypothesized that Mentos will react more with Diet Coke than with regular Coke. So in order to test our hypothesis, we designed an experiment. A good experiment includes safety equipment, controls in one variable, and measurable results. Safety goggles protect your eyes, and lab coats protect your skin and clothing. Controls tell us that the response we observe is most likely due to our variables and not other factors. We decided that we would measure our result on a scale from no reaction, minimal, moderate, and maximal reaction. In one set of control conditions, we used water instead of Coke with the Mentos. In another set of control conditions, we used glass beads instead of Mentos with Coke. Remember, our dependent variable is the height of the ejected liquid. Watch what happens when we perform the experiment under the control conditions. For the experimental conditions, we used Mentos with two kinds of Coke, regular and diet. The type of pop is the independent variable. Watch what happens under the experimental condition. Aaron is on the left with Mentos and Diet Coke. Wendy is on the right with Mentos and regular Coke. Remember, our measurable result is the height of the ejected liquid. Ready? It's important to record your results in a way that others can understand. Use numbers, graphs, tables, or a written statement. It's also important to record any additional observations you make. For example, notice the appearance of the used Mentos that were placed in water versus the appearance of those that were placed in Coke. We noticed a size difference. Can you predict which was larger? The Mentos on the left is the one that was placed in water. On the right, the Mentos placed in Coke. The last part of the scientific method is to draw your conclusions. This involves deciding if your data forces you to refute your hypothesis or not. In our case, we did not have to reject our hypothesis. We found that Diet Coke did produce the best reaction with Mentos because the Mentos had no reaction with water and glass beads had only a minimal reaction with the Coke. Another important part of your conclusion is developing questions for further study. This is how our collective body of knowledge grows. For example, what would happen if you used Mentos gum instead of Mentos candy, flat Coke, or different brands of pop? So today you've learned how to conduct a scientific experiment. When you perform your own experiment, you can check your skill by using a rubric like this one to make sure you remembered all the important points. Have fun, be safe, 
and happy experimenting. Sorry, now I'm recording. Sorry.